It's new information about the video of a controversial arrest in Chicano Park that sparked angry protests. Demonstrators who rallied outside the San Diego Central Jail overnight say that officers were too rough. Our tennis reporter Mackenzie Maynard is live where this all happened to Mackenzie. The activists at the center of this, they're telling his account of how he ended up in handcuffs. Yeah, Steve, in just the past 30 minutes, we received an explanation from police and saying what exactly happened Thursday afternoon. They tell us it all started with a traffic stop that escalated and resulted into arrests. Meanwhile, a friend of the two who were arrested say both of the arrests were unwarranted. According to the man who took this video, he tells us Eddie Alvarez was recording police Thursday afternoon when he was arrested. He was just recording. This man tells us he and Alvarez are both members of the Brown Beret of Aslan, an activist group who oversees police activity in the park. He says before Alvarez was arrested, his friend Georgina Mercado was also taken into custody after trying to record police on her cell phone earlier. So an officer went from the back of his arms under his armpits, just like this, holding him like this. And I didn't know what the uh, other officer looked like he was going to do, but he looked like he was about to punch him. That's when Eddie started backing away, and that's when he ran out into the street. That's when the other officer tackled him. Both Mercado and Alvarez were taken to the San Diego Central Jail. Mercado was booked on resisting an officer. Alvarez was booked on a felony of obstructing or resisting an officer and a misdemeanor for resisting an officer as well. Both bailed out of jail. What happened first? is that my friend uh, was recording the police doing the stop. And she was well within uh, a safe distance away from them as well, and a reasonable distance. Now, according to police, they say Georgina Mercado was interfering with that traffic stop. That's why she was taken into custody. She had with her her three kids. That's when Alvarez said he would take the kids with him, but he had a bandana on hiding his identity, according to police. That's why they say he was considered interfering and then taken into custody. But according to them, he resisted arrest. Police have since launched an investigation into the arrest. And we will continue to bring you more information as we get more details. For now, reporting live, Mackenzie Maynard, 10 News.